Captain Hills of Wheaton. My name is Heather Herbeck. I live in BZ Corners, Washington. The White Salmon River is in my front yard. During the summer, I'm full-time on the water. I paddle for personal enjoyment, and I also am on the water every day as a raft guide and kayak instructor. I really enjoy sharing white salmon with the local community. The removal of Condit Dam means more white water. My name is Phyllis Clausen. I have been here 30 years. My husband and I joined Friends of the White Salmon River in 1976. I was so determined that the river would run free and the fish would return. I couldn't stop. <laughs> Won't you lead me to the depths of the ocean? Bruce McGlenn from Seattle. I started fly fishing about the same time I started walking. There's something about being on rivers and in rivers, like the Elwha, and you, you stand in a river, you feel that resolute force against your leg, and you reach down and pick up a rock and feel the cool water. And that's magical, it's like going to another world, or I guess I should say it's like coming home. Of course, when they dammed up the Elwha nearly 100 years ago, there was no fish passage and it shut off all migration up and down. The two dams on the Elwha were man-made changes, you might say. That man-made change really benefited a few at the expense of many. And I think now is our, our chance and an opportunity to reverse that and see the full potential of the Elwha River and, and all that it can bring to all the people here, the culture, the ecosystem, the natural way of things. Uh, my name is Robert Ellefson, and I'm a Lower Elwha Clallam tribal member, and I'm the project director for the Elwha Restoration Project for the tribe. The Elwha River is very important to the, the uh, Lower Elwha Clallam tribe. Our reservation is located at the mouth of the river, but it was also the largest river in Clallam territory. The uh, Clallam tribal creation site is on the river. And, you know, according to our culture and history, we've been around forever. There are stories from the, our elders that say it appeared you could walk across the river on the backs of the salmon. You're talking three to 400,000 salmon in the Elwha River at one time. And uh, now there's about 5,000 returning. There's a, a spirit here. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if it connects with everybody, but it, it does with me. 
It's amazing to see where we've come from to where we are now. Never doubt that a small band of dedicated citizens can change the world. It's the only thing that ever has. And there would come down someday. What I didn't think would be that would happen in my lifetime. 